this video we will discuss about another idea that could be the possible therapeutic target against the cancer and that is uh, non coding rnas so for a long period of time it has been uh, understood that this non coding rna does not code for any kind of proteins or peptide however recently people have find out that the non coding rnas are also capable of coding uh, proteins or peptides and those are usually less than 100 amino acids and here we have discussed uh, here in this figure we will discuss uh, three non coding rnas that are categorized as long long uh, long non coding rnas circular rnas and primary micro rnas pre micro rnas not primary pre micro rnas and how they can be used to target the cancer cells so we will discuss the function of this uh three different categories of rnas and what are the areas of the cancer cells they can target so let's start with this long range and long range or long non coding rnas so long non coding rnas when it is uh, transcribed and translated then it will gives rise to three two uh, different kind of peptides first one is hxb as3 peptide and next one is spar or the other one is spar peptide and this uh, function of this hxcb peptide is that it interacts with this uh, hnr and p1 and then helps to and then helps to prevent the cleave cleavage of this pkm1 tetramer so this hnr and p1 in the cancer cells cleaves this pkm1 tetramer and thereby this pkm1 tetramer will not be able to act against this uh, cancer cell growth however when this uh, long non coding rna is transcribed then it will form a complex uh, peptide that is hox b as3 and then it will form a complex with hn rn pa1 that will prevent the uh, cleavage of this pkm1 tetramer so this pkm1 tetramer will be formed in high amount or it's uh, over expressed but the normal case that will lead to this uh, following effect on the cancer cells that is it will reduce the cancer cell growth we reduce the colony formation at, at the same time it will reduce the migration and invasion similarly this spar peptide will uh, prevent the uh, will prevent the lysosomes will prevent the uh, atps in the lysosomes that is it will uh, prevent this it will form a this vatpas complex that will inactivate the mtor one and thereby it will also results in reducing in the cancer cell growth and reducing cancer colony formations so by artificially introducing this long non coding rnas could be beneficial uh, to reduce the cancer cells uh, within the patient next one is this circular rnas the circular rnas will also be found to form this kind of peptides that is fpx w7 185 which is of 185 amino acid and shr shprh which is of 146 amino acid and both of them uh, helps in this fpx w7 helps in the uh, stabilization of this uh, cymic and we have discussed in many times in our videos this cymic roles as it is usually found in the mitochondria when it leaks into cytosol how it will cause uh non favorable uh, reactions or non -favor non favorable results within the for cells so in this case it will stabilize the fbx w7 will stabilize this cymic proteins and that will helps in this uh, ubiquitations and that will results in the cancer cells growth rate and also the cell cycle rest as the recycling of the amino acid because of the ubiquitation uh, Uh, will be uh, uh, recycling of the amino acids or re, uh, this cymic ubiquitation will prevent the formation of the amino acid that is responsible for this cancer cell growth and that will also results in the cell cycle arrest the other one that is uh, s shp rh uh, proteins it will interact and stabilize this pcn it will also uh, results in the pcna uh, cause ubiquitation that by preventing the proteins from 
maturations and helps them and by preventing the proteins from maturations uh, through this uh, by uh, diverting them towards this ubiquitation thereby this will also reduce reduce this will also results in reducing cancer cell proliferation and also it will reduce the tumorigenicity of the cancer cells the last one is this pre microRNAs so what it will does we, uh, it has been found that it will it can it will form this two kind of peptide MIPEP and 200A or MIPEP 200B and both of them uh, after and both of them because of different open reading frame one open reading frame two results in the reducing in reduction in this migration properties that is it will prevent the transition from um, EMT transition that is epithelial to mesenchymal transitions so these are some of the uh, non coding rnas that can be uh, that can be or could be the uh, possible therapeutic targets because of their functions against the uh, cancer cells normal growth rate and also the a function they also plays a role towards suppressing the migration properties or emt characteristics if you need to understand more about this non coding rnas and its relations to the uh, cancer cell properties for cancer cell functions you can go through the reference that has been provided in the description that's all for this video thank you for your time